Etymology and Historical Origin of the Baby Name Emily Emily is the German and Scandinavian form of Emily. This is also the version of Emily the French use but with an accent over the first E as in Emily in France the name is pronounced Emily. Emily and Emily developed during the Middle Ages from the Latin name female Emilia which itself is an offshoot of the old Roman family name Emilius from the Latin emulus meaning rival. In fact, the Emilius family name is believed to date back to the 7th century BC, even before the formation of the Roman Republic. Like the Gens, family, Fabia, Claudia and Valeria, the Gens Emilia was not only patrician, i.e., noble, aristocratic, but they were among the most important and respected families of the upper classes. In other words, the Emilia were hard to rival. Folk etymology holds that the first ancestor to the Emilius family, Mamercus, son of the second king of Rome, received the name Emilius as a result of the unrivaled persuasiveness of his speech. In any case, the female names Emily and Emily comes from one of the oldest known family names in Western civilization. Although Emilia, Emily and Emily date back to medieval Europe, they were never particular favorites for girls, probably because there was no important saint associated with them. It really wasn't until modern times when the Emily names finally enjoyed a significant revival in the 19th century. They remain hugely popular today in the 21st century throughout the Western world. Emily was the number one most commonly used baby girl's name in the U.S. From 1996 to 2007, today she's ranked number six. The French, German and Scandinavian form of Emily slash Emily is not as common as Emily in America, but it's the third most popular girl's name in Norway and ranked very highly in the nations of Germany, Denmark, Belgium and France. Personality of the girl name Emily The number eight personality has everything to do with power, wealth and abundance. Somehow, this personality has been blessed on the material plane, but their authoritative and problem-solving traits provide evidence that their good fortunes are not just the luck of the lottery. They are well-earned. This is the personality of CEOs and high-ranking military personnel. It's are intensely active, hard-driving individuals. Success is only meaningful to them after a job well done. They are remarkable in their ability to see the larger picture right down to the smallest details and organize a strategy around success. They then have the ability to direct a group around them toward any goal and realize individual potential to get the most out of their team. Popularity of the girl named Emily Emily dates back to the 19th century in America. Again, this version of the name is nowhere near as Emily but she has managed to maintain an impressive foothold on the U.S charts for a long time. Most likely Emily was brought to America by Scandinavian, German and French settlers. Emily entered the 20th century somewhere in the middle of the charts, i.e., familiar but not super common. The name struggled to find a place on the charts in the first half of the 1900s but would finally get into failure in 1951 when the name disappeared from the top 1000 list altogether. Emily's hiatus from regular usage would last for about 25 years, 1975 marks her return to the charts. Obviously Emily's resurgence in the 1970s and improved usage in the 1990s and early 2000s had everything to do with the soaring popularity of Emily. Emily represents a new and fresh way to spell this old 19th century damsel. It could be argued that Emily is more Euro and Cosmo compared to the frumpy TN Biscuits Emily, and it's definitely more sophisticated than the Americanized respellings of Emily, Emily and Emily. Quick facts on Emily. Gender, girl. Origin, French. Number of syllables, 4.